Hey everybody, welcome back to some more iconic moments. That is right, yes, we have got the last one on the list. Well, not the last last, they probably might release more, but this is the last one that we got so far, and it's titled The Prestige, yes. Number 49. And I don't think I've talked about this in any of my iconic moments. I probably have, but I, well, I've forgotten. There are different versions. There is the... Europe one, which we have, which has the numbers, which you can see on the side, looks fascinating, brilliant, I quite like the numbering system. But then you get the American releases one, and they have a few more that isn't released yet where I am in the UK. And those ones don't have numbering, so you pretty much have to put them in any order you like. I like the numberings because it looks good on a shelf. You think, oh wow, I can get number one today, or number 17 tomorrow, and stuff like that. But when you've got no numbers, like, where do they go? You know, what came first and all that, you know? So the numbering system is great, but then when you get the Blu-ray ones, they kind of put years of when they were released rather than... The, the, the numbering system, and that's when it gets really confusing, you've got to really use your noggin, like, okay, I've got the DVD ones, now I have to align them with the DVD ones to make sure they're in exactly the same order. But they didn't release the entire Iconic Moments on Blu-ray, so you're still like half and half short on the Blu-ray ones, which is kind of annoying. So yeah, we, we do have a good system for the num on numbering on DVDs, but when it comes to Blu-rays, we don't. And then there's 4K Steelbook releases, of the Ocon Moments as well, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I got my work cut out for me. But yeah, I just want to get that out of the way, because just in case people didn't know, or people are going to tell me, I do know about the American releases one, and that uh, you can get them on eBay, but they don't have the number in, so I'm just going to wait till it comes over to me, and then I can get the set looking precious and like you know looking fabulous and all that so let's have a look at pretty much the front cover and this is amazing pretty much for, for the prestige bit it's stunning we've got literally Kristen bale right there hugh jackman <laughs> michael kane scarlett johansson pretty much they're all there it looks fabulous and then we look we've got the like, little dove in the cage right there are you watching closely and by god, they rate this as a 12 as well. Looking at the slip cover, we see that it is number 49. One more away from 50. That's another thing as well. They need to reach that 50 mark. Just having 50 iconic moments. It just has a ring to it. Like literally, my DVD shelf, each row can support 41. I'm literally using the second row for the extras. And it will be, if I can get two full rows of iconic moments, that will be sick. That would be amazing. You know, obviously they might release a few more each year. Makes kind of sense, but at the start they were releasing twelve, then twenty-four, and then they was up to forty-one. It was like, mate, calm down. I think the most I spent in one day on H and V was a hundred and twenty-four pounds. That was how mad it got. <laughs> Over a hundred pound in one H and V night mental the top it always says Warner Bros invites you to celebrate the most iconic moments in film history lay within this one at number 49 behind the mystery lies the secrets behind the secrets lies an astonishing discovery and then pretty much just down here we have the bio description and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video or you guys can pause the video I'm going to leave a still image zoomed in on this one and you guys can have a nice lovely read if you're into that sort of thing and then just below that, we have the special features. Director's Notebook of The Prestige, the cinematic sight of Hand of Crystal Nolan, five making of featurettes, the art of The Prestige, production photos, costume sets, behind-the-scenes photos, and po posters, art galleries, and then the theatrical trailers. And then on to the left-hand side, we have the image display, and some of it can be pretty basic. Like this one would be a nice poster art to have, you know, hanging up. So that might be something I might look into, seeing that there is actually a thing, or making my own and having that up on my wall. And then we have two cutscenes from the actual movie, which is really nice. And obviously we have the link directing us straight to the Warner Bros. website right below. And then it also says it's region 2 locked and it's DVD protected. But luckily, I have a DVD regional free player, like I've always spoken about, and I am working on getting a multi-regional Blu-ray player, so that way I can play all the Blu-rays. Someone else told me I don't need to do that with 4K, because apparently all 4Ks are region free. may have a look into 4K, but you know, that's just something I can invest in later on 
when one becomes an affordable price. But right now, I'm just focusing on getting the multi regional Blu ray player. All right, so let's take the slip cover off, pulling this one up, and, and oh, the one I wanted to be the poster, it's actually on the front cover. That's mad. And in fact, to be honest, that does suit it, but I think the dove's better. I think the dove actually makes it. I'm hoping that's a dove, I'm probably even wrong, but yeah, I'm just saying a dove. And then, pair the sides. You know, it's not half bad if you think about it. Then looking at the back end, it's always the DVD ones have more to look at in terms of images, rather than the slip cover in the whole current moment. Now don't get me wrong, that looks fantastic, but got to keep in mind, you're only paying any extra for the slip cover. The DVD is still the standard cheap DVD. Like, look at that, that is, <laughs> that's mad. And you get more images, which is amazing. You probably don't need that big one because it's on the front. So that what they use, they utilize it so they can add more images, which does really make sense because when you're on commons, they try and keep it all in the same ordinary fashion. So, so let's get into this one. Go. Brilliant. My, uh, <laughs> my dogs are up. <laughs> Every time I'm recording, and it's like they know, but as soon as I stop, they stop. It is what it is. Okay, moment of truth. Let's look into this one. And oh, no! You've got to be kidding me. Really? 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 Right now? Oh, my God. I know there are quite a few of the other Iconic Moments that have this thing. But, you know, it drives me mad. They stole my goddamn plastic. Like, like really, how's this iconic if you stole my plastic? How does that make sense? How does it make me feel happy? You stole my goddamn plastic. Look at that, okay? You got the better focus on my new camera looking at this shit. Like, like literally, I can pretty much see it in the light. I can see the outline behind that. That's how bad it is. Oh, my God. Even the artwork on the actual DVD is disappointing. Look at that. That's not good. That's terrible. It is, it's, it's, it's atrocious. Just look at this close up. Like how, how, who thought? Oh yeah, let's just plaster the front cover on the disc. But let's, let's not name it the prestige, you know, let's just leave it like that. What if you're someone who's going away and you have this thing called a, oh, I don't know, a DVD wallet or a folder? Or DVD like handheld thing, like a, like a multi-regional case to carry more discs and take on your travels. You know, what if you have something like that? You know, you can only get a title. It makes it a lot easier because if people are saying, "Oh, but you know what you pack, so you should know it." Yeah, but what if I'm not choosing the movie? What if I got someone else choosing the movie? Huh? Do I have to really explain and tell them all the, you know, the titles of them? It's really frustrating. No title. Don't know why they just kept plastering that all over the place and they stole my plastic. There's nothing iconic about this. It's just disappointing at this point. I wonder what the Blu-ray one's gonna look like. I know this is on Blu-ray. I'm now curious because I still have to hunt all the Blu-ray ones down, but I am just so curious to see what the hell the Blu-ray one has to offer. But yes, this has been my unboxing video of The Prestige. I do hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you did, however, please make sure to support by liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on post notifications by ticking that bell icon. And I'll see you next time. But until then, take care.